Okay, so to download Calico, go to calicoproject.org. Um, and I'm going to do this. I'm doing this on a Mac right now. Um, and what you want to do is scroll down and find Calico Download. Click on that. And then scroll down. The first thing you need to do is install Mono for Mac OS X. What you want to do is get Mono for Mac. So let's click on that. It says get version 267. So we need to get version 267. So we'll click on that. And then if you scroll down, it shows you what you can use. Now, it says Intel versus PowerPC versus Universal. 99% um, of, of machines these days of Macs are Intel. If you're not sure, you can go up to the Apple menu and click on About This Mac. And it'll tell you I have an Intel. So we will download that Intel framework. And it takes a minute to download it. Okay, so once it downloads, you double click on it, opens this up, double click on the package, it says welcome. So let's continue, continue, agree, and we're going to install. And oh, I forgot to mention, you have to be the um, admin. So let me type my password. Bing, bang, boom, we're done. So Mono's installed. OK, so now we're going to download Calico on the Mac. I'm assuming you've already downloaded Mono. If you haven't, then take a look at the previous movie. Um, I'm on the calicoproject.org website again. And if we scroll down to download, we'll select that. And now we're going to download, we've already downloaded and installed Mono on our Mac. Now we're going to download and install Calico. So it says grab the zip file. Let's click there. Now you're going to see a whole pile of Calico zip files. What you want to do is take the most recent one. For me, that's 13th of August 2011. This 061 for you is probably going to be something much newer. But I'm going to click on that and it downloads. You can see it downloads pretty quickly. Now, once it's down downloading, you want to put it somewhere that um, you can keep it for a while. Um, I like to put it on my um, on my desktop, so I'm going to click on this little magnifying glass to show it, and there it is in the finder. And I'm just going to click and move this over to my desktop. So I'll click and just drag it onto the desktop, and my nice Calico folder appears up here. All right, let's. Get rid of these windows for a minute. Okay. Now, to run Calico, what you want to do is go into your Calico folder and look for something called Start Calico. Now, there's two of them here. One of them, when you click on it, it says it's a Unix executable file. Well, we don't want that. Instead, we want this Start Calico, which says it's an application. And just double click on it. And when you do that, yeah, we really do want to run it. And in a minute, here we go. We've got a beautiful little shell here. And what you can do now, I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger so you can see this a little bit better. There we go. Um, and now we can just test it. Let's say, uh, what's 5 plus 7 and hit enter. And it says 5 plus 7 is 12. So we got Calico up and running. And if we ever want to, you know, we can quit it. Sorry, file quit. And then if we want to run it again, we can just go onto the desktop, find the Start Calico, and double click on it, and it should start again. Great.